Hello, my lovely Libras. I'm here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. If you are new here, I hope you find something that resonates and that you return in the future. If you are a returning viewer, you know I love you guys to pieces. You are my rocks. That sounded weird. <laughs> Okay, we we're just going to leave that one alone. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you so much for being here. You guys are awesome. All right. I hope you're all doing well. All right, let's go ahead and see who we're focusing on today. What is something truly magical about you? The Seven of Swords. You are very good at planning, strategizing, goal setting. But you're not just good at the planning. You're good. You, you succeed. And you succeed because you are so good at this strategizing. I'm hearing some of you are master chess players. Ch you know, chess, the game. Like checkers, but chess. Chess players. It came out chess. Why did it come out that way? I don't know. Major chess players. Very good strategists. Some of you play... Um, video war games, and you do very well. Um, ha, huh, yeah. You're very good. Okay, I'm hearing um, financial planners. You're the people who set up corporations for success. So you may do help them with their business plan, strategizing what, you know, the goals will be, how you're going to get there, what they're going to do. So that may be something that you do. Um, but you are really, really awesome at strategizing, planning, accomplishing goals. You have a clear flow chart in your head of each step that needs to happen for the next one to to happen and it's almost like this little dance i love it because this is how i used to look at computer programming i'm great at flow charts myself so yes no you know this is what your goal end goal is you can start at the very beginning and i'm also very good at writing um <laughs> and you may be too writing instruction manuals because you don't skip steps you literally are good, you know, at getting every single step, which is important if you're writing any type of instructions. All right. We all know that, don't we? Half the time we have to just throw them in the trash because they aren't worth the paper that they're printed on because you can't go from here to there without those things in between. But boy, they sure do print it up that way. Anyways, you are really good at strategizing, planning, flow charting, and accomplishing what you set out to do. And I also see here that this has some sort of healing energy around this. Um, maybe you work in the recovery of a business that's not doing so well. So they may be on a downturn and you step in and help them to recover instead of maybe you revisit the business plan instead of helping them to create it. That kind of thing. Or maybe you're helping people to restructure after a financial crisis. That can come in any form. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and see what you've accomplished in the past that you should be really, really proud of. The visionary, the knight of swords here. Yeah. How to come to the rescue. How to help heal a situation. You have vision. You have a clear-cut vision. You're, that's why you're so good at strategizing. I okay. What I'm hearing here that you vote that you accomplished in the past. Some of you had um, trusted in somebody else that should have known what they were doing, but didn't, and it cost you a lot. Okay, whether it was money, your health, um, a relationship, whatever it cost you, it was pretty dear to you, okay? And you decided from that moment on that you were not going to do that, that you were going to look at things and plan it out, have goals, have a strategy, 
Oh, I'm also hearing that some of you were totally caught unaware by this. I'm actually getting somebody had a lawsuit against a company, possibly a um, power tool like an electric saw, something of that nature, because um, there should have been a safety feature on the product. It stated it had that safety feature, but that safety feature did not work. So either you or somebody that you know had this harmful situation, okay? And it was you who figured out how to take the steps necessary to go through the process. You could be um, a litigation lawyer too. How to recoup what you should, you know, what you or that person received. So that may have put you on the on the line to becoming the person that you are working in the field that you're working in, okay? But it, you healed, you helped to bring <clears throat> healing and peace to this person or yourself by planning, strategizing, working towards um, getting what was, what's payback, okay? Not, not payback, um, compensation for your pain and suffering, for the injury, for the heartache, for the, whatever it was you learned I'm going to have a plan and a goal to achieve so I can keep going, know where I'm going to end up. Beautiful. All right. What kind of impact do you have on the people around you? You're an awesome companion. This is the king of um, wands here. Okay. You're a leader. You take, the ch you take charge where it's needed, but you're also very good about stepping back and pay, passing the reins to whoever needs to be in control, okay? If somebody else can handle the situation, you're good at letting them handle the situation. You listen well, you impart really good knowledge, but then you step back and wait for them to say, oh, okay, can you tell me this, or can you help me with that, or can you show me this, or, you know, what do I do next? You don't take anyone by the hand and just say, let's go, this is how you do it. Okay, you've got plans, you've got goals, you help people, you set those goals, and then you sit back and you say, all right, let me know when you reach the next step, and we'll go from there. So you might be a life coach, too, of some sort, <clears throat> because you do have to have strategies before, you know, what's, what's the final outcome going to be? How are we going to get there? How are we going to get our clients there? All right, very good. And you have a beautiful beautiful impact on everyone around you. You're very calm, cool, uh, down to earth, but fun. You have some great history, some awesome knowledge. You may have been a traveler at some point. Uh, you may have done some uh, studies abroad, I'm hearing. So you've got a very diverse portfolio. Which would make sense, especially if you're in the, uh, <clears throat> um, like, finance strategy, business strategy. You may have traveled to other countries to help other businesses. Yeah, really nice. Okay. Let's see what skill or talent you have that we should also recognize. The Four of Cups, you know when to hold out, when to refuse something. Very good, very important to that balance of knowing what direction to go in, but also holding out for that end result. Not giving in too soon, not giving up, okay? But refusing to, <clears throat> um, I'm hearing, oh, I'm hearing you refuse to accept the image that people claim to be reflecting back at you like this is what you're doing, but it's not what you're doing. It's not who you are, okay? Um, you're abundant, and when you're abundant, there are people out there who will want what you want without putting the effort in, okay? And you are just sitting back, and you they're saying mean things. They're saying, you don't deserve this. You didn't work for this. You don't have enough knowledge for this, whatever it is, okay? Um, this is what they're reflecting back. That's what they, there's somebody saying this to you, 
I'm just reflecting back what you're putting out there. No, they're totally misunderstanding. They're totally doing this intentionally because they don't want to put the effort in. Okay. Um, but you're just sitting there in your abundance, not worrying about this person. I, I don't know why, where that came from, but that was specific to somebody. Most of you are just, uh, yeah, you know when to hold out and when to fold out. And that's what's coming through with this Four of Cups here. You're only going to take the best offer. You're not settling for less. And you shouldn't. You should never settle for less than what you set out for. Never. Awesome. All right. What do you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing? Yeah, here, this card shows up in this position so many times for my lovely Libras. You guys are have a sense of adventure, okay? Exploration, learning, curiosity. I'm hearing a lot of you are a lot braver than you give yourself credit for, too. Okay? You're more daring. You're more bold than you actually um, give yourself credit for. So keep going. Keep being bold, brave. This is the Knight of Wands. Okay? So you've got Knight and Knight, and you've got a King energy here. And this is you, King of Swords here. Clear, concise, you, your answer is the final say-so. Some people may think that you're aloof or a little cold. And those are usually going to be your fire signs that feel that way when dealing with you in these circumstances because they want to communicate. You know, they want to move, take action, hear things, feel things. And you may be just saying, okay, this is where we're going to go from here and here and here. And this is like the business plan. And fire signs, some of them don't care to hear business. Just the word business makes them go, ugh. <laughs> yeah, that's coming from an Aries. Okay. So some people may consider you to be cold, like not fun, but you are. Okay. You are. Don't worry about those those that have that, that feel that way. They, they get to warm up to you. Okay. They get, they will eventually see you for who you are and know that you are appreciated and that they appreciate you. All right. So we have that swashbuckling, uh, knight of wands over here with a sword. Okay. So here is your energy again, going out there, trying new things, looking at things differently, Closing one eye so you can really squint at something and see between the lines. Being adventurous, courageous. Um, hearing people out even though they're squawking. Okay? Yeah, you're one of those that you understand that somebody may be giving you um, advice that you don't want necessarily or you don't want to hear what they have to say, but you're going to hear them out and then decide what you're going to do with that information. Beautiful. All right, go be brave and courageous and bold and learning and traveling. Hi, Sage. She just scared the living daylights out of me. Okay, and then we have the mime, the page of wands here. So you are focused, you are committed, you're excited. You. This is what drives you, is this excitement of waking up every day, ready for a new day. What's the new challenge? What am I going to accomplish today? You love goals. You are definitely a gold digger. I just saw that somewhere. And I thought I was like, gold digger? No, gold. G-O-A-L digger. You go after your goals. And that's what gets you up in the morning. Okay, I'm going to make another step today. I'm making the breakthrough today. Today is the day I do this, okay? But you're always excited about your future and what you're helping to do for others too. So you're definitely working your passion definitely working your passion. All right, guys, ladies, gentlemen, honor this person. I We need more strategists in this world, okay? The ones who have a great flow chart brain that takes them from beginning to end and can see the big picture because a lot of times people can't see the big picture, okay? So we need more people like this to help us get to that big picture view so that we can accomplish our goals, Coaches, strategists, financial advisors, planners, healthcare. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? It's having the vision of how to start from here and how to end up here. All right, let's go ahead and boop the like button. 
tap it, tickle it, and show some respect and honor and um, support for whoever we're focusing on here. And I'm going to include myself in this. I'm in Aries with a north node of Libra, which is exactly the opposite um, end of my spectrum on the horoscope wheel. All right. So I am striving my whole life to become more like a Libra. Okay. Keeping my Aries qualities, but um, learning how to be more balanced, um, fair, <sighs> take a back seat and not have to be in charge. Okay. Anyways. So I'm going to include myself in this. I, I'm a good, great strategist. I've always been a good planner, strategist. And people may say that, uh, you know, some really mean things about Aries. We're not going to go there. This is a reading all about you and it's meant to be uplifting. And it is. So go ahead and boop, boop, boop that like button. Claim it in the comments. Tell me what you do for a living. How do you plan, strategize towards your goals? What is your big overall? What led you? If you want to tell us that, what led you to being a great planner, strategist? Um, or I just had another thought, too, of what, of what you could share with us. Well, oh, if it comes back, I'll let you know. Spirit saying, go ahead and move on to the animal oracle message. And let's see who we've got here today. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something else, and that's out the window. And my window's shut. My window's closed. It's a good thing it's opaque or uh, transparent so that it can float right on through that glass. <laughs> I'm having a day. I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. Okay. All righty here. What have we got? Card number one is, and it's card number one. Is that not funny? And spirit, it's time to collaborate. You definitely are a collaborator. You definitely work with other people. 17, <laughs> co-create with spirit, crow spirit. Oh my goodness. Then we have, look at this, spider spirit, make your dreams real. Card 56, which is 11. And then we have Lion Spirit, Be Generous of Spirit, 37, which is 10, and Putting Burdens Down. Yeah, see, that's what you do every single night. You're, great, you're grateful for all the blessings in your life. When you hit a milestone in your goal um, plan, okay, so you've got a year-long goal plan. And when you hit something at, you know, at a major mile marker, you celebrate it. You're grateful. You're and you're enjoying the process is what I'm hearing. OK, so when you it's not about getting to the end goal, it's about the getting to the end goal. If you if you get what I mean, it's the journey. And you're really good at this, really good at enjoying the process. All right. Co-creating with spirit. Yeah, you definitely know to set your intentions and then release the where and how to spirit. And then spirit will bring you the answers, give you um, downloads, synchronicities such as 111, okay, or other numbers that matter. Four seems to be important for some reason right now, which is all about stability, protection, okay. All right, what else have we got here? Time to collaborate, make your dreams real. Yeah, when you co-create with spirit, you do make your dreams real. Absolutely. And you are grateful and um, full of gratitude for everything that you have. That is a beautiful energy there. All right, spirit wants to give you an eternal crystals oracle right now. deep breath. Breathe deeply. We have angel light, angels, throat and crown chakra. And what other card are we going to get today? Fuchsia sight, healing and heart chakra. So we have the throat, the crown and the heart. 
the head, the throat, and the heart. Wow, working right down the body. This is card number two, and that is card number 17, which is right here, co-create with spirit, healing. Okay, both of those add up to eight. So let's look at number two real quick. Angel light. What does that say? Know that you are not alone. The angels and the universe will provide everything that you need. All you have to do is to ask and then have faith. Talk to your angels by asking and praying for whatever it is that your heart desires. It is easy to talk to your angels. You do not need to speak out loud unless you want to. You can talk to your angels in your head at any time and in any place. I think it's fantastic that you're co-creating with spirit and that you are never alone. Okay, you are never alone. Don't know why that's coming through so strongly right now. Let's see. 17, Fuchsite. And the message here is, you make a difference in other people's lives. Now is a great time to learn about natural remedies, counseling, teaching, medicine, or healing in some form. Remember also that you can uh, conduct he healing work in more subtle ways in your everyday life. You don't need to be a doctor or a nurse to be a healer. And you do have healing energies here with what you do. Okay. You may be a great listener and have a gentle, compassionate energy, which greatly benefits your friends, co-workers, or family members. Whatever form of healing you do for others either consciously or subconsciously, be wary of becoming too drained. Make sure you find a balance between giving to others and nurturing yourself. It is known, this stone, Fuchsite, is associated with your heart chakra. It is known as the healer's stone, as it has shown up to let you, let you know that you're a healer, but also to let you know that you need to prioritize healing it yourself as well. Okay, so take some time out. I'm pointing at the wrong card. Fuse sight. Fuse sight. I can't speak today. I am having problems speaking today. All right, let's go ahead and see what other spirit animal message spirit wants to give you. Lion, higher calling. You have within you all the courage that you need. So this is calling up the strength card and the magician card. You can let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those that are by your side. Time to collaborate. You make noble choices for your life and for your tribe. So for you, yourself and for the people around you. Absolutely. And I like that. Noble choices. What's the right path? What What's the direction that people need to go? You're a planner. You're a strategist. Absolutely. All right. What other message here from Spirit Animal? This is Ram Perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. You never give up and good luck always follows you. Love it. Remember I said something about, nope, that was in the general reading today. About people thinking it's luck. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, an L key message. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's see who's on the calendar for today. L key. She who. She who what? Let's see. Let's see if we get something new today. got to make sure those cards aren't upside down sorry not that it really matters with these 
Well, I guess it does, too. Spirit just said, yes, it does, because this could be a, neg a reversal of the energies. You could be hiding from them. All right. What have we got here? Two more shuffles. One and two. We have got Etriant. Etriante. Etriant. Swath, embrace, self-care. She who enfolds. I don't know if we've seen this one or not. Etriant. Etriant. I can't say this. Two more shuffles, please, Spirit. Thank you. Estefania. Estefania. She who surrenders, chains, bondage, and release. All right, let's start with, at least I could say that one. Etriant. Okay. And don't you know they're one before the other? This one's first and that one's second. Etriant. She who enfolds has wrapped herself up in three layers of soft, colorful cloth. Her crown indicates that she rules herself. Her companion, a cousin to the scrub jay, is a noisy defender of her space. But our flaxen-haired ruler has no need of this protection. Self-care is a key component of her sovereignty. She surrenders herself as a mother swaddles an infant to contain and to comfort. Her name means embrace in French. Etriant also knows anyone who would be truly close to her must respect her independence. She comes to teach you to trust and protect your layers. Do not be an open book right now. Let those who would know you have a challenge. You are not being coy. And so what if you are? You are being careful with your precious self. It is important to make this distinction. It is important uh, to make this distinction. Sometimes we open ourselves up too soon and too much. Be discerning um, with how much you reveal so that others understand you are not to be taken lightly. Remember, it is perfectly acceptable to hold parts of yourself back until you are ready. And since I claimed myself in this reading, that definitely was mess meant for me. I need to keep more back. All right, so your question of the day. Who deserves to see past all of my layers? Who gets to see the real depth of you? Okay. What are you keeping in reserve for that special person? Okay, Estefania. Let's see what Estefania, she who surrenders, has to say. She rereads an old letter from someone who hurt her long ago. Clutching the response to her breast, she allows herself to be overcome by the agony yet again. Her bower has become her prison. Iron shackles bind her in this spot. Wrapped around her, this black cable weighs her down. Let me show you the card. What she hasn't realized yet is that the chains are of her own making. By holding on to regret, her anger, her fear, she has forged heavy links tying her to her past. No one can release no one can release her except herself. And save herself is what she must do. Okay, no one can save her except herself and save herself she must do. To do that, she must let go of the past. The lesson of this card is that when we surrender to the losses of the past, we strangle ourselves with sorrow. It reminds us that when we let the ropes of past hurts turn into anchors, they can only hold us back. Your task is to carefully review things from the past. If they cause you pain, you really may need to let them go. It's like a paper cut that won't heal because you keep touching it. Put the past in the past where it belongs. 
Breaking this chain of misery might not be easy, but you've been given the chance to start anew. Don't let misery detain you from your amazing life. And it does get easier as you practice it. So the first time you try to let go, it might be difficult. The second time you try, it's a little less difficult. The third time you try it, hey, I succeeded. I'm not sitting here in sorrow. I'm actually feeling good about my life again. All right, so here's your question. Am I surrendering to old pain or am I releasing it? All right, guys, until our energies cross again, wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.